Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Sarah Morabito. And I'm Julia Oliveira. Today is Monday, September 10th, 2018. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A-Day with LS1 and 2. Tomorrow is a B-Day. Late buses leave starting today and will run every Monday, leaving at 4.40. Cyber Patriots interest meeting is today after school. Refreshments will be provided. The Science Olympiad interest meeting will be today in the lecture hall after school at 3 p.m. There will be a winter track interest meeting today after school in the cafeteria. Scheduling, fall conditioning, paperwork, and tryouts will be discussed. There is a Best Buddies interest meeting after school today in room 251 at 3 p.m. Over 100 college representatives will be visiting Chantilly High School starting in September and running through December. Students in grades 10 through 12 will be able to attend and ask any questions they have. You may have noticed a new desk by the front doors. Here's Dr. Poole with some more information about the new tardy table. All right. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well and the start of school has been successful so far. Uh, I'd like to talk to everybody a little bit this morning about some changes that we're making to our attendance policies, especially in regards to the morning. Uh, there's a lot of research out there that demonstrates that there's a really strong uh, relationship between school attendance and coming to class on time and performance in school. And if you see somebody doing something that is hurtful uh, to themselves, uh, we should try to fix it. And we have, there's our evidence from last year indicates that we have a significant number of students that are running late, especially in the morning. So some of the changes that we're making are aimed is to get everybody in class on time so they don't miss the announcements and they start the day off on a good note. So beginning today, uh, students that arrive to school late and are not in their classrooms by 810 will need to check in what we're calling tardy tables to get a pass. Teachers will not allow students to enter the classroom out after 810 without a pass. These tardy tables will be located in the front of the building in the main lobby and also in the mod so students don't have to walk all the way back inside to get a pass. Students will complete an online form. There will be laptops or iPads that are set up right there. Uh, and that includes their name, student ID number, and subschool. And they, at that time, may provide a note from a parent if the tardy is excused. Students will need to show their ID, and they will be issued a red pass if the tardy is unexcused, and a blue pass if the tardy is excused. After September 17th, so we're going to have one week to kind of get everybody used to this new process, the students that are habitually late to school will be issued the following consequences. You can be late two times each quarter, and there's not going to be any consequence. But on that third offense, there'll be a lunch detention, fourth offense, after school detention, uh, fifth offense, Saturday school, and then it goes on from there. Hopefully, we won't get to that point. We also recognize, and part of what we're trying to do here is that sometimes students face uh, unusual challenges 
And uh, if we are aware of who's running late to school, we can try to meet students individually and better understand why they're running late. And if there are things that we can do or resources that we can provide to help students and or their families. But we just ask that everybody please make a concerted effort to get to class on time. Please know that we are reasonable people. And if there are you know unusual events one morning, there's a big storm, big traffic accident, we'll handle those situations on a case by case basis. We just want to help set everybody up for success uh, each school day. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Poole. Now let's go to the weekly positivity project video. I've really grown, and if you saw me in sixth grade, you'd be like, no, no, that's not the same person. When people like see each other and they don't know you, but they come up to you and like, do you want to be in a group together? That's like leadership and bravery because you don't know that person, but you're still going up to them. I've also seen humor also because like a lot of people here are funny. And I've seen like perseverance because if you're in a group with someone and they like you're like ready to give up you're like i'm done with this like it's too hard for me they're gonna be like no you got it you can like you can do this and you're good at everything you do Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Sarah Morabito and Julia Oliveira reminding you to stay positive and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.